I have a confession to make. For a long time, I was lonely. Even though I was surrounded by people and parties, I felt empty. Crypto was what saved me. How? By its vibrant community. Three years ago, I was at a party in Ritz Carlton in Hong Kong. I received an unexpected phone call from a friend in Skyline, the club I ran those many years ago. I was surprised because I haven't heard from him in a long time. He sounded like he really needed my help. That phone call compelled me to return home to Singapore. That friend wanted me to manage YouTubers and investors that were part of a big crypto project. That project led me to places like Dubai and Macau, where I met other people in the space. It all felt like they were part of an exciting new journey, like the early miners during a gold rush. It felt like they were all waiting for something big to launch. I now know about this thing called cryptocurrency. It's more than just a currency. It's a store of value with Bitcoin. It can be used to mint non-fungible assets like real estate and even art. It can be used to generate passive income from mining, yield farming, and staking thanks to DeFi or decentralized finance. It can be used to trade for profit just like your equities and stocks. I found a community of people who believed in a different future. And it all felt very close-knit, so I decided to stay. Over time, my experience grew and so did my knowledge in crypto. Crypto gave me purpose and a community. And now, I'm growing my own community with my family and friends. It's a vibrant space with so much potential and growth. New friendships are formed beyond borders, time zones, ethnicities, and economies. There is no central source. Men, women, young or old can get into crypto. Anyone with a computer and a phone can get into crypto. Jobs are being created. New wealth is being created. A $3 trillion industry is here to stay. I'm a woman in crypto, and I believe that if I can find my place here, then so can you.